This is a 1 16th scale brushless 70 kilometer hour there, there. 70 kilometer hour <laughs> claimed <laughs> claimed 70 kilometers an hour speed and I'm not sure I should have said yes to reviewing it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you why I maybe should have said no to it. Not done a bounce montage for a while. It's got friction dampers. It's brushless. It solders the pro version. But don't worry, I have a plan. We will take the shocks off, I'll measure them, and I'm sure we can find some that will fit. Because I'm hoping that this is actually a pretty decent performer. Pretty standard looking Jeep style body that a lot of things come with. It's got LEDs in there, front lights, and then a roof bar. Wheels look quite nice. Tires don't feel too bad. Now you can get this on make a fire just as it comes like this with a transmitter fully proportional uh, battery in there 1500 milliamp hour instruction stickers charger screwdriver wheel wrench spare body clips some screws pretty sure it's got metal diffs as well let's have a look yeah metal diffs ball bearings all round metal cvds up front metal dog bone drive shafts at the rear diffs fill <laughs> super loose that's even looser than some of the wl toys you should not be able to spin the wheels like that but i didn't just buy this version i bought one that comes with a 3s lipo that is a big chunky 3s lipo and paddle tires because we're going to take this thing to the beach although <laughs> you're joking me right come on it doesn't fit something to note as well it says 2s 7.4 volt under there and um, there's writing all in red on the description for this and they say if you run it 3s it's at your own risk and in fairness actually to whoever makes this who makes it suchiyu rc model to be in to be fair the box doesn't say anywhere that it will do 70 kilometers an hour it does on the maker fire website and i think that's with a 3s let's go and find out how fast it is on two well, before we do a speed run, I need to find some shocks that are fit. And as if by magic, literally took me, well, I don't know, less than 10 minutes to sort the suspension out. Now look at it, way better. So these dampers are off an MJX Hyper Go. All four were the same size. I'm not sure if their other trucks come with slightly different ones, but I'll put a link to these ones. I did also grab an old WL Toys, but they are, well, the 144001. They're just slightly bigger if I hold that there. They're just probably about, they're probably about two or three mil like longer. Whereas the Hyper Go ones, are pretty much exactly the same size. I guess the WL Toys ones are probably going to be cheaper if you want to buy them, but the Hypergo ones I think are going to fit better. All right, we're going to speed run it with a lithium ion. I've also charged up a LiPo, and then we're going to somehow throw this 3S in, put it in there and put like a strap around there. It's not going to hold it down as such, but it's going to stop it falling out. Let's see what it takes to get this thing to 70 kilometers an hour. All right then answers on a postcard so we're looking for 70 kilometers an hour so it says on the description um i haven't checked to see if that's with a 3s yet but anyway we got a good tailwind today that's full throttle on high speed oh it sounded like it slowed down then that was 30 mile an hour though which is 49 kilometers now that's not a bad speed straight out of the box on a lithium ion all right one more go on stock battery full throttle Yep, it definitely slows down. I was listening out for it then, I heard it. Yeah, 30 again. Right, lipo power. Has it got a bit more punch? Oh yeah, it has, wow. <laughs> it pops wheelies now. Full throttle. Now that didn't feel like it shut down then. Definitely felt like it was uh, full throttle the whole time. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's way better, way, way better. <laughs> right, I am going 35. Oh, 34. So 2S LiPo, 54 kilometers an hour, 34 mile an hour. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to be able to control it on 3S, but we're going to give it a go. Going to switch it on, on camera just in case it blows up, just for a bit of drama. Well, so far so good. 
I bet it's got loads of punch now. <laughs> <laughs> Does recommend not running 3S. I will just say that again. Whew, here we go. Roll in. There's full throttle. Oh, it's pretty stable actually. That's way more stable than I thought it'd be. Oh, got on its roof. I tried to get up the kerb. Can we get it back on its wheels? Drum roll, right? This is in kilometers. I've left it. Did we get 70? I think we might have. 78 kilometers an hour. That is 48. Should try for 50. Let's try for 50. All right, here we go. <laughs> Coming in hot. That is for. Whoa! That is for. <laughs> Uh oh, GPS, don't break, it's my new one. Don't break, it's my new one. <laughs> it's got loads of grip on this surface. Right, back on the road. That's full throttle. Oh my days. So fast. <laughs> 48, 78 kilometers an hour. Let's go play on the sand. It's that cold today, even the sand's frozen. And I guess no one wants to come out today. That is fine by me. It means we've got the beach to ourselves. <laughs> yes. Whoa. So I'm only running 2S on this thing. It doesn't need three. Look at it. <laughs> it does not need three S. That's mad. That is on par with the WL Toys for uh, how it goes across that sand. Oh, listen to it. Can you hear? I don't know how well you can hear it. Hang on. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Plenty of traction, goes straight. When I brought that bigger WL Toys down here, it wouldn't go straight because uh, the diffs were all, uh, diffs were too tight. Diffs are loose on this, but it certainly drives better. It loves it. I wasn't too sure about this at first, but <laughs> now I think it's awesome. Right, I'm going to try and get some cool shots of this thing, jumping over these little dunes. And then just up there, there's a skate park. So we'll save the battery. I've got the other wheels for it. And we'll go and give it a bit of a blast at the skate park. Don't get your hopes up for the uh, body lasting long. That was on the beach. This little thing's crazy. We've already had a little bit of damage and lost the body pin. Well, not enough rotation or wheel speed. They don't really balloon for a backflip, but it will front flip. Oh, we are on the third and final battery. I'm wondering, can I get onto that ramp? Oh, there goes the body. Um, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, nearly. Oh, seems to be taking it. Oh, backflip. Yeah, we done a backflip. Oh, and another one. I mean, the lights are still working. Finish him. <laughs> Body aside, this is taking an absolute kick in. This is not the recommended use of your RC car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oops. Uh, I think that's probably going to be it because uh, I'm going to need the pin. I got the tyre, the wheel. I got the, their metal hexes, by the way. I think the car was like, oh, I've had enough. Please stop. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> so I've given it a good look over, and I mean, I don't really need to tell you about 
how the body held up. The car itself, suspension is still pretty good. The brace, hang on. The metal brace across the middle is bent. That's where I think I landed like that, I don't know. It's a plastic chassis, so it might have flexed a bit and bent that. There's a chunk out of the wheel there. And this wheel, the one that comes flying off, yeah, that's uh, that's cracked as well. <laughs> don't drive your RC cars like that. I don't usually mark stuff out of 10. The, the body, two. Two out of ten. Um, but the actual car itself, less the body, purely rating this on its durability, I'm going to say a good solid, what, 7.8? 